beloved ones of god this evening we are having zikr first of all i would like to explain this about zikr to the new murids who are not acquainted with this sacred exercise which is most sacred and most important exercise among the sufis first of all the meaning of the zikr i would like to explain that what does it mean zikr it comes from original word zikr ilahi means as a reminder what to remind the absolute the only being none exist save he in ancient days this exercise is entrusted from the murshid to the disciple to that disciple who is very much advanced in the inner path of life otherwise it is never given the zikr having four grades from the chishti school which school we all belong in chishti school there are two things are to be attained that is one path is a path of devotion bhakti marga in hindu it is called and second path is in the way of cultivations of the heart and the metaphysic very much in this school very broad in its teaching on the sufi philosophy is called chishti school there are apart from this chiefly there are more three schools are known in india qadriya naqsh bindiya sohar wardiya and chishtiya so there are four schools are known and these different schools do not much differs from each others but in their certain other method and some are attached which called shariat and shariat means law according to religious law they have to grow and develop that is in the school of qadriya and abdul qadir jilani was the leader of that school but in the thoughts in his ideal all are united and one but in the method in certain way of ways of explanations or expl- and this about the zikr can be differing we must not be deluded about that while we have the four grades of zikr in the shishti school and if one of them if we can attain in our life i think it's more than enough because the zikr is as a key to the mysticism its advancement the human tongue is incapable to explain it these exercises are such that the disciple themselves by attaining them can realize it and find out its power and its upliftment that human tongue cannot put it into the words about it it is these are the exercises which are considered among the sufi very very sacred and in the east 
if this one of this grade is given to the disciple he takes it whole his life and trying to attain it then all rest of the the, the grades are easily open and reveals to him that extend their advance they attain on this subject so the literary meaning of the zikr means as a reminder to remind the only being the absolute and its aim is to be one with the only being it is as a key if we dive deeper this is as a key given to us to understand and to find out the unfoldment and the mystery of the inner phenomena of the creator by the help of the zikr there are so many phenomena had been performed by the great masters of zakir we call zakir means the one who does the zikr so this is the we must consider more sacred and the new disciples who are newly recently initiated i would advise them that they can of course join with us in this congregation with the zikr but they must only do privately when it is permitted to them from their initiator otherwise not to do until they get the more explanations and understanding about it because the whole sufi teaching is main based on understanding everything we must understand is secret is mystery is all then it is helping to us in our development in our advancement that's the thing apart from this what i should like to tell you the zikr among the sufi is believed had been practiced the old divine messenger such are noha ibrahim moses jesus and muhammad and by these exercises and practices they attain a very high evolution on this earthly plane zikr's power to bring us and to our consciousness oneness into the only being so you can imagine what power what effect it has upon our innermost being by doing so and we are losing all limitations and boundaries and the separations from this earthly plane advancing only in union in understanding in oneness and nothing other that is why by the help of the zikr you see what is the ideal that by the help of that one is more elevating our being more in the spirit then on the density of this earth density of this earth is slowly slowly subsiding 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 from our sight that is its power and that's a great thing what is requiring when one would like to dive deeper in the inner path 
Of course, in the East, when this is interested to the disciple, he goes on, on and on. He will never miss that. For him, it is a, that is a very life. And by attaining that, he founds out all its union, its power, and its upliftment. While the Prophet Noah, believed by the Sufis, doing the zikr, and by the help of the zikr, he has having as a compass in his boat to arrive toward the goal. Zikr has become as a compass directing constantly, constantly, constantly to arrive to its destination. And that was his go went on zikr. The moment the boats started, while he received the revelation from the Lord Almighty, and he prepared the boat, received the warning, according to all that he obediently have listened and followed, the, all the mystical way of science and all, it was by the power of the zikr. There was nothing else. So you can imagine what it is. And therefore, we must all consider most sacred it is. It should not be exposed too much to anybody. It is for our inner development, for our own self, disclosing our self by that, our real self, toward the reality. And unreality is all the time is disappearing from our sight. And we are becoming conscious more and more on the reality. But that is a secret. But today we are trying to do the zikr of first grade. And I, to, I should like to explain to the new Muris who are not acquainted that how to do that. Before doing the zikr, what, what attitude we must adopt, that we must know. Because it is a mystical practice. Our attitude must be before before trying to do the zikr, first of all, we have to put out all the external influences of the daily life on this earthly plane. That's the first condition. That all must expel from our mind before trying to do the zikr. This is the very first attitude we have to adopt. And the secondly, in this way, that we must feel and try, we are sitting in the presence of God, the only being, the absolute. None exists save He. In His presence, in His majesty, we are sitting. It's the second attitude. And the third attitude is this, to emphasize upon ourselves that this is not my body, it is the temple of God. Now you can imagine all this way, preparation, preparation, preparation to come to that higher realization of the oneness of our Creator. This is our preparation. So when this all, that way, when, when we try, that this is not my body, it is the temple of God, it is that time our being is in charge, in charge from the density of this earth toward the higher spirit, to the higher stage. That is why it is said, this is not my body. It's very, very important for us to understand, to impress ourselves. And when that is done, then it is, there is also 
original posture exists in this um, in the seeker but uh, of course that one could be get the uh, what you instruction privately well it begins like that that first from the the circle from the heart the direction of the heart so it is in this manner la ilaha illallah illallah must be near to the heart la ilaha illallah illallah near to the heart it's the heart because it is a cultivation of the heart and it is the physical purification physical purification both are there by that so this is the way to begin and uh, la ilaha illallah means what none exist but he none exist save he that is his meaning and his signification this evening we are again going to have sama sama means the devotional music among the sufi the songs which are chosen to sing among the devotees of the sufi are the sacred songs in the praise of the lord almighty in the praise of brahma in the praise of krishna in the praise of rama in the praise of prophet and in the praise of the peer our master or inspire and those poems are composed by very great sufis or among the mahatmas the great mahatmas of india have composed the devotional poems and the music and the melody as you know that music among the sufi is considered the food of the soul this is the source which enable our soul to communicate with god quicker than any other source so music is a celestial in all different religions music playing a very great role for the development of the higher realization of the spiritual development let us say चिंता 
न कर रे तू चिंता न कर रे अब तो समझ मना बंदन में बंद रो है समझे में बांधो है अपनो स्वरूप बिसरी बंद में भरम रो है चिंता न कर दे तू चिंता न कर रे अब तो समझ मना देवेगा तुझ को वो पैदा करना इत तू ही उठ तू स्थल तू ही जल तू नैया हमारी पार करन हार चिंता न कर दे तू चिंता न कर रे अब तो समझ मना बंदन में बंद रो है समझे में बांधो है अपनो स्वरूप बिसरी ब्रह्म में भरम रो है चिंता न कर रे तू चिंता न कर रे अब तो समझ मना देवेगा तुझ को वो पैदा कर थोर तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आई थोर तुझे उपकार वधत विनो दे हसत सोड़ी कोण दुदार आई थोर तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आई थोर तुझे उपकार बदत विनो दे हसत सोड़ी को दुदा चीधार आई को दुदा चीधार आई थोर तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आई 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 थोर तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आई 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 थोर तुझे उपकार वजत विनो दे हसत सोड़ी को दुदा चीधार आई 
कौन दुदाची धार आई थोर तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आ वजत विनो दे हसत सोड़ी को दुदा ची थार आई 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 थोड़ तुझे उपकार थोर तुझे उपकार आय 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 थोर तुझे उपकार वजत विनो दे हसत सोड़ी कोण दुदाची धार आई कोण दुदाची धार आई थोर तुझे उपकार हो चल अखियाँ मिला कर दिल बरमा कर आए चल नहीं जाना ओ ओ पिया चल नहीं जाना अखियाँ मिला कर दिल बर मात चल नहीं जाना ओ पिया चल नहीं जाना जाके जाने न दूंगी रास्ता रोक लूंगी ओ पिया के पैया पर जाने न दूंगी अखियाँ मिला कर दिल बर कर चल नहीं जाना ओ ओ पिया चल नहीं जाना चल नहीं जाना अखिया मिला कर दिल बर कर चल नहीं जाना ओ चौके जाने न दूंगी ओ रास्ता रोक लूंगी ओ पिया के पैया पर जाने न दूंगी अखिया मिला कर दिल बर कर चल नहीं जाना ओ ओ पिया चल नहीं जाना मैं तेरा 
बंदा तू मेरी रूह मैं तेरा बंदा तू मेरी रूह अल्लाहू मेरे दुद में तू Allahu 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 Ya mere maula tu hi tu Ae mere maula tu hi tu Tera hi jalwa saaro tu तन से निकले दम मोरू आऊ 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 या मेरे मौला तू तेरा ही जलवा चारों सू तन से निकले दम मोरू जब आप कलमा आऊ 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 जलवा चारो तन से निकले रूम रू आऊ 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 छाया तरो सकल कल्ला स्वरूप शत्रुमा सकल दुरित वंजनी अवेरी रंजनी माँ निरंजनी स्वर ओ छाया तरो सकल कल्ला स्वरूप शत्रुमा सकल दुरित वंजनी अवेरी रंजनी मा निर जनी स्वर 
sweaty oh ya rasulillah Guzita Zuljalali Paki bi hamtar tuhi Ya Rasulillah Habibi Khalike Yaktar tu hi O bar guzita zul jalali Paki be hamtar tu hi Nazani ne hazrate ha Sadr bad re kaina Noor chashm e ambiya ho Chashm charage maatu hi Noor chashm e ambiya ho Chashma charage ma tuhi Darshab e mehraj abudi Jibrail andar aqao Paane haada barsari Gumbade khizra tuhi Paane ha dao bar sarire Gumbade khizra tuhi Ya Rasulillatudani Ya Rasulillatudani Ummatana tazizan Azizara renuma Azizara Renama Gumbade Khizra Tuhi Shamshat Bare Ji Chedana Shamshat Bare Ji Chedanat Na to te pa gham bara Mustafa ho Mustafa ho Mustafa ho Mustafa ho Khul ke yakta tu hi Mustafa ho Mustafa ho Khali ke yakta tu hi Shamshat bare ji shedana Oh, 
خالق یا تا تو ہی نازنی نے حاضرت ہا صدر بدر کائنا نور چشم امبیا ہو نور چشم امبیا ہو چشم چرا گے مات یا رسول ابھی بھی حال کے Oh, oh, oh. 
ಬೋದರ ಗಿರಿ ಜಾಲಂ ಬೋದರ ಗಿರಿ ಜಾ ನಂದನ ಹೇ ಮನ ಭಾವನ ತತ್ಪದ ಸೇವನ ಹೇ ಬನ ಭಾವನ ತತ್ಪದ ಸೇವನ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬಿಗಜಾಲಂ ಬೋದರ ಗಿರಿ ಜಾಲಂ ಬೋದರ ಗಿರಿ ಜಾ ನಂದನ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಫಾರ ಫಾರ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಟೆ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಫಾರ ಫಾರ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓ ದಾಯ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಯ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓ ದಾಯ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಯ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಉತ್ತೇಗದಾಯ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವನ್ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಉದಯ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಯ್ ಪ್ರ ಸರ್ವಣ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಟೇಗದಾಯ ಸರ್ವಣ ವರ್ಷಿ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವಣ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋರ್ ಟಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓ ದಾಯ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಯ್ ಸರ್ವಣ ವರ್ಷಿ ಇಮೋಷ್ಣ ವಾಲಾ ಲಾಗೆ ಚೆ ತಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ಥಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ವಾಲಾ ಲಾಗೆ ಚೆ ತಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ಥಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ವಾಲಾ ಲಾಗೆ ಚೆ ತಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ವಾಲಾ ಲಾಗೆ ಚೆ ತಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ಮೀಠಳಾ ಬೋಲ್ ತಾರ ಮೀಠಳಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ವಾಲಾ ಲಾಗೆ ಚೆ ತಾರ ಮೀಠರಾರೆ ಬೋಲ್ ಆದಿ ಆದಿ ರಾತ ಕೋ ಕೊಯಲಿಯ ಬೋಲೆ 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 ಗಗನು ಮೇಲೆ ಟುಪಿಯ ಜಾಗಲೆ ಅಕೇಲಿ ಡರ ಲಾಗೆ 
अकेली डर लागे अकेली डर लागे उठुपिया जागरे अकेली डर लागे पिया जा आए बमर रमुआ आ ओ भम रमुआ जैसे ओ जैसे भमर रबुआ आम भमर रमुआ जैसे कासदा खबर यार से आ जाने की यार से आ यार से आज देखी वो जान जाती है चली हिजर में <coughs> दीवा की खास देखो यार से आ जाने की थारो बरोसो मन भारी रे उमरा साचा पीर ओ जमील शाह नगरना थारो भरोसो मन भारी रे उमरा स्वाचा पीर ओ जमील शा वड़ा नगर नो जमील शा वड़ा नगर ना
Rakawano koi Hare re re mola mari mati che geli Rakhavano koi Tharo baro cho mane bhaari re Omara sacha peer o jami ele Wada Nagarana O Jami Al Shah Wada Nagarana Ay 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 Bhar bhar yo che bhaari Rakhavano koi Taro baro so mane bhaari Taro baro so mane bhaari re O mara sacha peer O jami el shah Wada nagarna Jami el shah Wada nagarna Swarasvati Ochaya Tarongani Sakalakala Swaropeni Rashatuma Swaraswati Chaya Tarongani Sakalakala Swaropeni Shatruma Sakaladurita Banjani Aviri Ranjani Ma Sakaladurita Banjani Aviri Ranjani Ma Niranjani Sware Swati Chaya Tarongani Sakala kala swaru peni rajatuma Sakala durita banjani aviri danjani ma Sakala durita banjani aviri danjani ma nirajani sware Swati Ochaya Tarongani Sakala Kala Swaru Peni 
Mojume tu, Mojume de Mola, tu y tu, Mojume ame, tu y tu, Allah, uh, Allah, uh, tu y me, Mojume, tu y tu, Aeme de Mola, la tu hi tu tera hi jalwa charo su allahu allahu tu jume zahu mujme tu